Hey, well, thanks for tuning in again today. I'm John Tice, a Realty Chef, and today again I'm here with Bill Stauffer with ERA Home Loans. And we have a fun topic for you, one that most people don't know that they have any control over. And we're calling this one Five Easy Steps to Fix Your Own Credit. So here's a good one. I think you should all walk away with something. I learned something when we uh, put this together and got the idea. So here we go. Bill's going to give us a couple insider tips. Um, he's actually uh, done a lot of work in um, understanding credit reporting and credit repair and has pulled some things together. You'd be surprised to find that even one or two or three points out of a 580, a 600 score might be the difference of buying that home and being approved or not buying it. And some of the techniques today might bring those two, three points or save them for you before you go out and do something and um, blow your chance to buy a, that home that you want today at um, the great current rates. So here we go. Number one is real simple, and that's to know your credit report. We're not saying credit score. We say credit report because there's a lot of moving parts to this. Go ahead. Well, John, it's very important that buyers know what's in their credit report and take ownership of it and know what does and doesn't affect their credit score and their ability to purchase a home. I know personally uh, I went for a loan recently and thought the mortgage that I've been paying for well over 20 years was being reported. It's deducted from my credit, uh, from my checking automatically and I thought I'd be a rock star only to find out it wasn't being reported at all. So for 20 years, 20 years of great credit history just didn't show up. And I actually had to prove to the lender I was dealing with that I actually had a loan because if it's not in that report, they're a little lost. So um, knowing the ins and outs of your report, making sure that right name, right social security number, the right loans, that that visa is really your bill, those are all the things that we want you to look for. Here's one that... Um, this is the technical side of lending, but um, a positive reporting trade line, which is what I just talked about. My trade line, my mortgage, wasn't being reported, I learned. And you talk about learning the one the hard way. That was me. That's true, John. I mean, a lot of people have the mistaken belief that if they pay off their accounts, they'll have a good credit score. That doesn't necessarily always work. It takes positive reporting credit to generate the, tri the credit score. So there might be bad news there. You need to know what it is. There might be good news that's missing, and you need to have that there. You can add those things in uh, with a simple, maybe even an email these days, but probably a visit to your credit agency locally. And um, as a consumer, you have a right to add things in uh, to make sure that it's being reported properly for you. Uh, how about number three? Closing a credit card is bad. Credit, car credit cards in general account for at least 30% of a credit score. And in, especially over the last few years, we as a society were you know, paying down our debt and we sometimes went a little overboard. We paid, paid down and paid off and closed some of our credit cards, but what that did is it took one of the legs out from the three-legged stool that make up the credit score, and it was counterproductive. And a lot of buyers that I've met with, you know, they need to get their score up 20, 30 points, and I've asked them to open up a credit card. So in the past, we were always worried that you had too many cards open, uh, but closing, and we told you to close them. So now closing them actually raises questions for you. So paying it off, great idea. If you got, if you got that cash, you want to pay it off, great. Uh, just don't close it. And even Susie Orman is running around today telling you to keep those cards open. So yeah. uh, this is not anything new, but many people are unaware of it, and that's why we're here today. Now here's something that um, I think is good news for everybody because we always feel victims to our credit score and and what might be going on and how it's being. It's a very mysterious world when you start looking at scores. Our number four tip, you can change your credit score in 30 days. And we I've seen this would happen. Uh, Bill was able to change a score by a few points, actually caused the person to be approved, 
and go to closing, uh, they were only, was it three points away from qualifying that time, and um, three points made the difference of being approved or not approved at all to buy that home. What we look for is the reporting date of the particular creditor. So if you have a, a credit card and you have a credit limit of 500 and your balance is 497, that's working against you because it might mean that 100% of your total reporting revolving credit is at capacity. So we might ask that buyer to pay that card down by at least half and then we'll watch the calendar and as soon as we pass the reporting date for that particular account, we'll update the credit. It isn't necessarily always the first of the month because creditors do report at all different times of the month. So if you're working on a particular account, you have to pay attention to the date that account reports. Yeah, credit reporting these days is a, is a game of inches. And so it comes down to a matter of days, when your payment came in, what it was. Uh, quick rule of thumb, if you've got multiple credit cards out there, and many people do, that's not a problem. You need to pay them on time. Mm -hmm. And uh, you want to watch that your balances are at 50% or less. So if you have a $1,000 card, you want it below 500 uh, that gives you your optimum scoring. So as you're paying those things down and getting ready to buy that home, paying off one and paying off the next, well, that's always good. But pay them all down to 50% and then work on paying one off. That's kind of the new strategy these days in, in managing credit cards. And finally, number five, everything is important. And that brings up a point that we didn't address earlier in that everything's important. When you have that credit card, that even if that interest rate is 22 or 23 percent, but you've had that card for seven years, that is a very valuable uh, credit reference for you to help you with your overall credit score because that credit scoring model is reading the length of time you've had that account. Better to keep it at zero or pay it off to zero when you use it, but keep that account even if the interest rate is a little bit higher because that history that you've built up is really, really valuable to you. Now, a second piece to this, and again, it's one of my favorite topics, is be careful because I know you're in the midst of buying a home and maybe you've met with Bill and you're approved for your loan and you're ready to go forward and it's very exciting and so you run out and you purchase a new mattress and the new appliances and it costs less than we thought so we go out and we buy a car or you even meet with just the car uh, dealer and he pulls your credit. Any little ping on your credit could cost you some points, some valuable points on your credit score. Like I said, one, two, three points. A 580 is a 580. A 579 is not a 580. And a 580 is an approval and a 79 is not. So if you get excited and you run out and you buy that TV with no payments for two years and so forth, it's still a hit on your credit. It still could cost you some points and it might blow your whole deal. So it's okay to get excited. I get excited when people are buying homes. The trick is stay excited and get the home and then go shopping. You can always get that approval for the TV that home approval is a much more difficult item. So whether it's furniture, TVs, cars, I've watched people blow deals on any of the loans that we've talked about in the past, VA, rural, rural housing especially, those are razor thin approvals. It's 100% financing. It's a game of inches. Don't go out and blow it because you got excited. Stay calm, buy the house, and then go furnish it the next day. You're locked in on the home loan and now you're a homeowner, and um, who knows? You might get a better rate on your purchase because now your credit's stronger because you're buying a home and you're a homeowner. So uh, thanks for tuning in today. Hope these are helpful tips. I always like talking about credit. always like talking about buying homes. I'm John Tice, the Realty Chef. I'm here with Bill Stauffer with ERA Home Loans. Bill, thanks again. Thank you for having me. You bet. Keep tuning into our series. We've got more great tips we'll be covering.